Hey, how are you today? And welcome to the next segment of the next Evolution Athletics Online Nutrition Series. Today we're gonna to talk about probably my favorite macronutrient, protein. Okay, so just so we're clear, there is a ton of information on protein and macronutrients in general. I'm just giving you a really kind of the tip of the iceberg and an overview on what it is and does. So let's begin. Okay, first things first. Protein are made up of essential, non-essential, and conditionally essential amino acids. Now what that mean is, what that means is essential amino acids are amino acids our body can't make up and we have to get them from diet. Non-essential amino acids are means our body can manufacture them and we generally don't need to get them from the diet. Now this weird gray area of conditionally essential amino acids generally means that our body can create them, but generally it's not enough, especially for an active individual. Now you may ask, what is protein actually needed for? Well, it's needed for muscle building, which is what we all like, performance, and health. Okay, so what does that mean? It means if we're an individual trying to put on more muscle and we have an inadequate amount of protein, it is going to be very, very difficult for us to actually gain more muscle mass, as well as improve our performance and get our health goals. Being deficient in protein is actually very detrimental to all these goals. Okay. So besides muscle building, what, is act what else is protein actually used for? Well, it's used for the production of enzymes, hormones, cells, neurotransmitters, as well as antibodies and our immune system function. Essentially, almost everything. Okay. So it's very important to have an adequate amount of protein. So what does that mean? Generally, it means that we need to get enough protein in our bodies to perform all the goals we want to accomplish as well as maintain our health. Because if we get an inadequate amount of protein, our bodies won't sacrifice our own health for our own performance goals. So it'll put a priority on health first. So it'll make cells, it'll make hormone production, it'll make these things. And now they may align with the goals we want. It generally will not improve our performance or our muscle mass if we don't have enough. So the next question is, or the next statement is, minimal is not optimal. There's a lot of research out there that says you need a very minimal amount of protein to sustain life. That is 100% true. Generally in a sedentary individual, you need about 0.8 grams per kilo of body weight. So what does that mean? If you're about 150 pounds, which is about 68 kilos, it means you're gonna need about 54 grams of protein a day just to maintain everything. Now, again, that's minimal, not optimal. So working with people, in my opinion, that are more active and uh, need a little more protein, uh, and honestly, sedentary individuals need more protein as well because just maintaining the bare minimum, it's very um, neglectful in the long term of thinking. So say a high intensity athlete, I generally prescribe 1.4 to 2 grams per kilo of body weight. So again, that same 68 kilo individual could need anywhere between 95 and 135 grams of protein a day, depending on what they're training for, what their caloric uh, need requirements are, what their training schedule looks like, and a host of other uh, things that come up in the training and nutrition. So here it is, folks. What we have to understand is that protein in a day is very important. Our bodies are always in a constant state of protein synthesis, so the creation of protein, and protein breakdown. If our bodies are always in a deficit, we'll never actually progress. But if our bodies are in too much of a surplus, we'll actually gain weight from it. It's that fine balance. It's understanding your requirements for what you need it for. Now, there's a caveat to this. There's gonna be a lot of people that argue back and forth about is too, is too much protein too much, isn't it bad for you? There is a lot of studies that tell you yes and no. I like to err on the side of caution, even though I've yet to see anyone that really had a problem with too much or excess protein, unless it had a kidney issue. If you have kidney issues, be very cautious and consult your doctor and physician. Other than that, folks, I hope that helps. Uh, we've got more coming your way. Please stay tuned. And if you like to see, hit subscribe. Have a great day and keep getting your strong on.